<laughs> What's going on, ladies and gents? Dalibor here for T3G, along with Harris, and we're going to talk about Star Wars. And just right now, even if you have for some reason not seen the title of this video, spoilers, spoilers all yeah. day. Do not we're watch not gonna, this we're not if you don't go want too much into it. We're not going to go like right. super detailed. Right. This is but just a quick. Holy, yeah, anyway. Yeah, but spoilers. but spoilers, so that way you don't watch the video and you're like, oh, why didn't you say spoilers, spoilers. Uh, but that also being said, spoilers. But that being said, I'm going to go first. Uh, and I do want to say a few things before we get into the actual review of the movie. One, one of the things, uh, Campia says it the most. He says that all movies are subjective, right? Sure, Is that what the are. word that he they uses? Are. They're all subjective. They are. But there are certain things that we can all agree on if you take hard facts into consideration when reviewing a movie, right? And certain things that is a fact that we can all agree on. One fact that I think we can all agree on is the art of acting since 1977 has progressed to be better. The actual art of acting has progressed to be better. People are people are doing it better. The methods exactly. are different. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's become a more more nuanced, more Precisely. expressive. It's just I think it's more so it's we a higher can, quality. We can, exactly, we can all agree that that has significantly gotten better. Certainly, the writing for especially these kind of movies has gotten better. Yeah, I mean, look at a lot of movies that are set in space, like we have, Guardians we have of the a Galaxy, sci-fi revolution Star Trek. right now. It's it's gotten better, okay. Yeah, and even even in superhero movies that are similar to this movie, yep. the writing is better, which means it has gotten better since then. These are hard facts, and the one obviously that nobody can dispute: visuals have gotten better yep. since 1977. Now that being said, and considering all the hard facts, not just nostalgia. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are like they saw the originals when they came out or very close to when they right. came out and They're it's a nostalgia young. thing because back then holy shit was that awesome i can put my mindset into that era and be like yeah if i watched this in 1977 or even in the 1980s holy shit were those movies good that being said this is the best looking at hard facts this is the best star wars movie period acting Perfect. I mean, it, for this type of movie, the acting is perfect. It's not up to the Oscar standards or anything like that, don't get me wrong. So when I say perfect, I'm talking about in this genre of movies, this acting is perfect. It is right. extremely, extremely well done. The story, it's as good, as good, if not better, but it's definitely as good as any Star Wars story. If you yeah. look at it story-wise. Yeah. The dialogue, the script. Now, what I call the strict the, the script is what the actors are going to say, what they're going to do in the scene. That's the script to me. The dialogue, the what they're doing is great. It is done very yeah. well. There's not one time during the movie that I'm like, why did you put that in that scene? Yeah, right? Well, that would have been part of the script. Why did, why did you say that? Why, why did, did you they say that? Or why did you do it this way? Not one time was I like, meh. Like, no. That being said, the actual comedy, there was real comedy in it this. It was great. The comedy. I actually was... laughed when I needed to laugh. I didn't laugh because I thought something was absurd. I laughed because it was funny, and that's good. This. That's not how the force works, right? And then he, right after he says that, he's like, "Oh, you're cold," and like that's it's great. It's hilarious. Uh, and BB-8 with the whole <laughs> that was I couldn't stop laughing that on good. that. That was good. So in general. Taking everything, and of course visually, the best visually looking Star Wars ever. Yeah. One, great use of practical effects on top of some CGI. Not a lot, some CGI, but everything was just perfect, in my opinion. For the type of movie they did, it was perfect. This is the best Star Wars movie. You can argue it, because maybe you still have the nostalgia feeling that it's not. That's fine. But if you take hard facts, stuff that most most people will agree on this is the best movie yeah. okay now there are some thoughts that i had about the movie that uh, i kind of noticed myself uh and it's more towards the characters okay ray the girl uh the main one of the main focuses in the movie if not the main focus in the movie um is basically in this era luke skywalker poe 
is basically it, she is yeah. she is I mean yeah. she is the Jedi the the one with the Force. I I think I think uh, Finn might have some Force too though. They haven't they haven't shown I they was expecting shown that. for it but they haven't shown they haven't anything shown to that, but just to that even... moment where where Kylo Ren stops and looks at him right sure like he noticed right. him yeah, yeah I feel yeah, like yeah. he noticed him because of a sure the awakening <laughs> now. The other thing I noticed, Poe, the Resistance pilot, he's basically the new Han. Uh, he's a cocky son bitch that's capable of flying yeah, he's a like great a pilot. badass. Yeah, he's a great pilot. Uh, he's basically able to do whatever the fuck he wants behind. He any might kind be of... able. He might be able to do the Kessel Run as well. Right, sex. I'm saying. So he's basically Han. Um, I would say that Finn would be the Leia to Ray. That Leah was to Luke. Leia? Leia. 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 Stab. Leia. My bad. My bad. Leia. Stab. Leia. General <laughs> Leia. Not princess anymore. General. I love, I love that, that uh, C-3PO still calls. He's like, princesses. I know. <laughs> uh, so he would be technically what Leia was to Luke. I feel like. Uh, in, a, in a little more extensive I don't, I, I don't way. I don't think it's as cut and dry as that. I think Not I as think, cut as dry, but yeah, I would say I, if, I'm, if I am comparing who's who, yeah, if you're making this a is how it works. Sure. Um, now, and then of course, Vader is Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren is Vader, but they are significantly different, and they've made oh, sure yeah. to point that out, okay? Vader had rage, Vader had the dark side, Vader also turned back into the light, there was always a way of reaching him, with his kids, mainly, Kylo clearly, this is where the spoilers get in, is the opposite. He had, there was a light in him, but whatever that light was, it's gone now. If if when, if you yeah, watch this, the movie, movie and you're watching this, that light is gone. He chose, he made his peace, he chose to do what he did, and it's done. And that's, that's basically showing that he's literally going to be the opposite. So there was a chance to stay later, to be, to Here's save the grace. Thing, though. Here's the thing, though. You can say that, and I, I feel you on to a point, but at the same time, Vader did worse. Yeah, but he never killed any of his siblings, any of his blood. He never killed any of his blood. He never, he didn't kill it. When he found out his wife died, he was pissed, he was raged, he was... But, no, yeah, dude, but when he killed a, a room of children, children... So did Kylo Ren. He killed the entire Luke Skywalker. Jedi right, I understand force that. that he was but I'm just saying, like, his. he did something dark, like super, super dark. He sure did. So you're saying that, like, killing family is a bigger stain on your soul than it is absolutely to kill children. Absolutely. I mean, no. I mean, uh, killing children obviously is a huge fucking dark thing to do. Absolutely. But I'm saying, once you take that moment to kill blood, somebody that loves you, that you know loves you, and you know that you love them, but it, it. It's either you choose the light side to love them and get away from the dark side, or you choose to kill them also, to become the dark side, I feel to like, make yourself darker, to make yourself the I feel the like darkness. Kylo Ren is, is just taking, like, a teenage rebellion just all the way. Yeah, but that's the... No. no. That's what it, it feels like to me. No, if, it was like, if they played if he was, play it he any was other way... He was upset that... He was upset that he was like, oh, I'm like, I feel the light inside me still and all this stuff. And like he just was, but doing he, anything but he when, could. But when, by the way, if you guys are not catching it, he obviously killed, you know, his father. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know if you caught that. I mean, again, it's a spoiler, like, so we're just yeah, having it's a, a spoiler, so we're having regardless. A, so that being said, and uh, yes, uh, Kylo Ren is Princess Leia's and Han's kid. Uh, and yeah, this happens to be now. That being said, I'm just uh, saying. I think I think he he took. He took that, like, I, I, it looks like, it seems like to me at least, that he he really wanted to be on the dark side for whatever reason. It was something they haven't explained yet, and they will right. at some point. And he's just taken every single, you know, step that he could to achieve that, thinking that it was, like, the right thing to do in his mind. But, I mean, that's fine, but he's face-to-face -face with his father, father telling him, you can still come back home. We love you. You are welcome back home. No matter what you've done, you are welcome back. And he looked at his dad and he said, You can help me make the decision from right here what I do. And he stabbed his dad. He stabbed no, that's it. 
Like he chose the right, dark that's side. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like I just don't. Vader know why. chose the dark side. Well, that's the. Vader, well, that's that's, Vader that's chose my chose the dark sure. side because right, of right. a reason. Right. So that's my next point. Now that is the one thing, and clearly they want to make sure that Kylo Ren is around for a while. So they didn't explain why. He went so deep into the dark side. Yes, does his family have history of Darth Vader being a dark, fucking crazy motherfucker that kills people? Absolutely. But that, but that, but that was said, but that was in a search, like sure. in search of more knowledge. Right. Of no, absolutely. He wanted to be a Force master. Absolutely. That being said, there was no clear explanation on why he did what he did. Why he changed? Because he was. They tell you that he was in training. With Luke in a land where yeah he was, it was he just was Luke one. Luke and a bunch of kids becoming Jedi yeah he was his young and boy. that's where Han and Leia sent him okay so that being said but they never explain they do explain that he chose the dark side and he chose to murder Luke's entire question do you think they're gonna do that story in the main? Like so, in like episode eight, we're gonna get a flashback of how that happened. Well, or are we gonna get an anthology movie of? No, we should not get an anthology movie on this. They're doing anthology movies, but we should not get on this. I, I don't. They could do it. I don't like see the, why. The, you can. You the, can the have end of the Jedi. You can have. You can have an explanation within the next movie. You can have a quick explanation that would make sense in the next movie without dragging it along, without sure. making it too long, without making it annoying. So I don't see... There's, In my opinion, there's no reason to fucking create an entire movie on why this man chose a dark force. I, I There's just no reason for it. There's just no reason for it. I, think, I mean, I don't mean just, just for that, but I think if you were to do... Uh, and one of the anthology movies, if they were, you know, this is what happened, like, after Return of Jedi. Sure, but then you and have like, to... just kind of like a... Yeah, but then you have to try to get a long, young Luke Skywalker that looks as close as possible to Luke Skywalker, and it's just... It, it's true, it's, yeah. There's no point. There's there's no point. I mean, I know they're doing especially, a Han Especially movie. because he's involved. Yeah, right. they, I know they're, they're doing I don't a Han think movie, gonna... but, like, that's going to be, like... There's a reason why they're doing now a Han movie, because, well, Han is dead, so... Like, they right. could get away with using a different right. actor for the younger Han. Right, um, right. So it's like, oh, well, that guy doesn't look like... Well, that guy's dead, so it doesn't matter what they look like. Um, and it, he's clearly dead. Like, oh, if yeah. there's anybody trying yeah, to do like some kind of conspiracy... Stab through. Not only was there a stab through, the, fell down a giant hole, and then the it, planet the, exploded. Yeah, the entire planet exploded. So, too. no, I'm sorry. There's It's no, pretty definitive. He's dead. It's pretty definitive. He's dead. Uh, that being said, obviously one of the things that we mentioned there towards the uh, when we were talking was that uh, there was implication that Ray is Luke's daughter. Pretty they solid never, fucking implication. They never say it. They never Leia, say Leia it. never true. acknowledges it's it. It's true. Leia no one, never tells her, no hey, my did. niece, never, not once in any sort of fashion does he, she and even treat her like family. Uh the 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 thousand year old all seeing woman, uh, she specifically states it was his father's, it was his, and now it's calling out to you. But she did not say he is your father. Right. She said it's there's, calling there's out to you, which means which I means you the, have the force. I think I think uh, I think I mean obviously she is. I don't think there's any question about that. I think she is. It would make sense. I mean the uh, flashbacks that she had right. being left on the planet. Sure, I which think I that was, which I, I think that was Luke. Which I would right, which I would understand why he left her on the planet, trying to to, se to separate absolutely, the, absolutely. their their force. Uh, yeah, so, so that Kylo Ren wouldn't come searching. So that being said, unless oh man, I didn't even think about it. What? Unless they're twins, and no, he they split them up. That they would have said something. I feel like they. I yeah, but like, Leia, Leia. Would, I feel like Leia and, and Leia would have known. Something. Yeah, so it's it's tough to uh, it's well, tough I don't to think, say. Yeah, I mean, Leia because, could have known. I mean, she was yeah. Really young. I mean, right. Uh, but I think Leia, they would have said something like, "We lost our children." Right. Not we lost our son. Yeah, yeah. So that being said, I mean, they don't ever directly tell you, and there are very very subtle implications that she would be his daughter. 
But they never full out. And tell that's the you. only. That's they're the, never full out. Tell you. Um, and but that's the that's, only problem I had. Like, if I was to say that I have a problem, right? Any problem that's, with this that's movie. Your main problem. My only problem with this movie is that they didn't give Ray the payoff because the whole time she's like, "I need to get back home. I need to get back home." Because she has this, you know, this mentality of my somebody's gonna come back for right. me. I need to be there sure. so somebody's gonna come for me. So when everyone, when Han tells her like, "Whoever you're waiting for isn't gonna come," right? Um, so she kind of has that realization. She kind of breaks down. And then I was hoping that they would give her that payoff of like, yeah, you were hoping, hey, Andy. by the way, like if if Leia recognized her, right. that would have been perfect for me. Yeah, and she would have been like, like right, but Holy there crap, was no you know? recognition oh, at like, all. To me, I thought the ending was lovely. I thought the ending was perfect, safe for like I thought it could have just one one more degree of perfect if when she walked up to him and they had that like seriously like minute and a half yeah. of music yeah. of just them two. Yeah. And she hands them the lightsaber, and the only thing I would have wanted different is when she, like, a pause, you have the music, right? and then she hands them the lightsaber, the music fades down, she says, Father. Right, yeah. And cut. That would have been so right. fucking great. But that would have again, given her something, like, okay, she won that fight, which was, by the way, the best lightsaber fight of all the movies. I did, Dar I, Darth Maul's fight was pretty dope. It was good. I just too. saw it yesterday, so... But, uh, eh. uh, I would say that was a... The, oh, here's the thing. And when I said there was not really any time in the movie that I was like, why? The only thing that I could say why is during a heat of battle she closes her eyes to kind of center herself to feel the force. But... I can also understand why Kylo Ren didn't take advantage of that because he was hoping to turn her onto the dark side. So he didn't want to necessarily kill her right off the bat. He knows that she. I mean, had she was still force. fighting him off, though. Well, she was just holding him like that while she closed her eyes. He but he was easily... pressing it in. What yeah, was, but what could he have done? What are you talking about? I'm moving slice while her eyes are closed. Like, like she's had plenty of time to like do this. But I think so. it was also a matter of like he he saw her doing that and he. Maybe right, that's what like, I'm saying. That's Holy what shit, I'm... like, she's really getting into this. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's, let me finish, yes. <laughs> that is what I'm. That is precisely what I'm saying. So I can see why he didn't take advantage of that, because he's trying to, okay, well, maybe she's going to accept this. Maybe, okay, she realized she has the force. Maybe I can get her to my side. Uh, so I can see why that actually, but that would be the only part that I was like, okay, maybe. But... Besides that, and uh, the one other thing that I did, two other things that I mentioned, uh, one going to straight facts, this movie is better paced than any of the Star Wars movies. The pacing is The pacing fantastic. of this movie is perfect. There's not one time I'm like, when's the next part happening? Yeah. Not once. Even, I'm even like going the to the time. originals, the, the, even going to the originals, that whole, I mean, I, I flip, flipped through the, the, the A New Hope yesterday. Yeah. It has probably an hour of nothing. Of nothing. Yeah, no, people don't like, realize holy it. Holy shit. Once again, like I it's said, not, if you're not nothing, obviously, there's a conversation. Right, right, right. There's, but like, there's truly, like, telling a him proper, about the force. truly, but a proper, like, there's no, there's no action. There's, there's, there's no, no proper no. pacing. Not even action, but like, the even during, I think, it, like, I think these come, action, like, there's a lot, but here's the thing. These conversations that were happening here, where they were just so properly paced, like, they weren't taking forever to figure it out. They weren't just, they yeah, were just even going. The they were just going. Stuff, yeah. even, even going to... Like when he was explaining, oh, this is how this weapon works. This is what it does. Like, even that part was like, okay, here's what we need to do. Let's go. Yeah. Like, there was He's no, like, no, 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 there's definitely a thing. And, he, and yeah. again, I think it's it's the same. It's that J.J. Abrams thing. Yeah. That, it just like, it, that just connected to me. When I said, when we were talking about Star Trek, J.J. Yeah. Abrams made the most boring parts of Star Trek Super so, exciting! Yeah, absolutely. Like walking through the, co the corridor, conversations. Yeah, yeah, all of those things had better pacing, better, better motion. So the same thing where you go back to to a new hope when they were looking at the plans for the Death Star, right. and then it's like just a bunch of people sitting around the table on like wide shot. Right. This was here's the shot of this thing. Right. And then it's like through there, yeah. you're looking at Finn yeah. answering questions, yeah. and he's like, no, 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 yeah, we could totally do this right here, right here, boom, 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 and there's just like. He moves. It's just the scene it's just, moves. There's a lot of action. Everything is without just, an action exactly. sequence. Exactly. Everything is done just so much better. And the other thing, uh, when I was comparing who's who, Luke is clearly Yoda. I mean, that's clear. I don't. I don't think I have to mention that. You but think like, Yoda? I was thinking Obi Wan. He looks like Obi Wan. Uh, he looks like Obi Wan, but I would say he's more on the Yoda thing because his force was one stronger than Obi Wan. So I would say when you're comparing, like, just in force well, in he's, general, he's the he's the, the grandson of but the force. The, the so, reason, yeah. but the re right, but then the also, but then also, 
he literally secluded himself to a planet. That yeah. Has, which is what Yoda did, technically. Right, right. So he is more on the Yoda style than the Obi-Wan. Cause, but that being said, J.J. Uh, Abrams can have every penny I make from here on out. I don't care if you guys... Uh, there's there's people out there that are like, oh, Star Trek, you you killed Star Trek. This is not what Star Trek is. I disagree. Uh, uh, if, if, if anything, Campio said it the best the other day when he said Star Trek was dead, was dying out. It was dead until he brought it back. Hmm? Listen, Star Wars might have not been dead, but those prequels definitely made a bad impact on them. And Abrams... And here's the thing. I recently watched all of them. I've never got a chance to watch the originals or close to when they were released, so I don't have that nostalgic feeling, so I'm, I'm able to look past that. They were all okay to good, all six movies, between okay to good movies. And if I can put, which I can, if I put myself in 1977, absolutely. Not, the 70 movies, the the, two, the three movies that came out between 77 and 83, yes, at that time, they were phenomenal yeah. for that time. Yeah, for that time, J.J. Abrams took something that potentially, if you properly looked at each one of those six movies that came out previous, that weren't very well paced. None of them. Even the new ones that had awesome visuals were not very well paced. They, they, were know, still, they had they good were still, visuals. They had my, good my, visuals. Here, here is my problem with the, the, the prequels, which I literally just watched yesterday right. for, for the first time For the in, first in time ever. Yeah. Um, my problem with those was that he had this mentality of like, oh, we're gonna do all this cool stuff with right. with effects, but like not all of it was executed yeah. perfectly. Now, yeah. like in two, I thought there was really excellent graphics. Um, you had a couple things that you could kind of nitpick. In three, it just I, I don't know if it was like he was trying to get him out on a certain schedule and just like yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. spend the time on him. Like they spent two years on this movie. Right. You know they could have been rendering up until Listen. two three days ago. Listen, like five days ago. they did, <laughs> once again, my final thought, it is the best Star Wars movie. You can argue every day, all day, to you're bleeding from every freaking part of your body. But, facts, facts are facts, this is the best Star Wars movie. For everything that fact-wise that we can all mutually agree has gotten better over time, this has all the better aspects. Plus, on top of that, not even including that the original cast has better acting because they've had time to develop their acting. So, they are better in this movie than they were in the originals because their acting is better. And because yeah, the and way the script is written. The way the script is written. Yeah, absolutely. They don't say weird ass shit that needs need to be said. Yeah, I mean, you know you're know look, at, you look at Leia. Look at how she portrayed Leia now and Leia. But you can go from Le here. Leia's a different character. Leia's grown up. Yeah. Leia's got different mentality. And, and again, the way that women are portrayed in script, in, in film, today versus 1973. Or seventy, whatever, seventy-seven. Um, it's completely different. Yeah, it's a completely different world. Yeah. I mean, literally, it's a different world. Everything that is that is now is different than it was in nineteen seventy-seven, whatever, yeah, through you're eighty-three. Absolutely so it, it's a completely different world. Everything is different. So to see someone who was there did that, and then can't, comes to the present now mm -hmm. and does the same character, right. but does it better. better. That means they have evolved along with everything else. Absolutely. If I was to see Han Solo and um, the the Clyder crew was talking about, oh, like he played Han Solo just like he did before. I don't think so. I think he he had a more mature I think presentation he had, of Han Solo. Yeah, like don't get me wrong, he still had his like funny moments. And he his was talking. definitely Han Solo. There's but no question. He was definitely about that. Han Solo, but he he was a better Han Solo. Yeah, he was a better. He was Han he Solo. was he was mature. He was Absolutely. grown up. Absolutely. He he. He, but just, he was just kind like, of the adult version of a of the teenage Han Solo we like, got back then. Like back then, we got that like teenage fantasy right. of like this is what badasses are. Well, here's the thing. now it's like here's this is what a badass take, is. Take any of the Han Solo dramatic roles within the original first three movies, right? And you compare it just with the one where he meets Kylo Ren, mm -hmm. right? Where he where he's face to face with Kylo Ren, not meets him, but where he's face to face with him. Like that, when you're watching that scene, it's better than any dramatic any scene dramatic of scene Han Solo of either. Han Solo ever. 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 Absolutely. So that alone proves to you that that, in fact, is better than anything in the original. Yeah. Um, and um, I was going to say one more thing. Uh, it, it, the comedy, okay? The comedy, it just... It, it, listen, in the it original... Flowed. Yeah, it flowed. It, it was just so very it well flowed. done. Like, when Han in the originals was funny, you got to chuckle. When Fawn in... Uh, or Fawn. When Han in uh, this is funny, you laugh. 
Yeah, there you was straight definitely up, like, you laugh don't chuckle. out loud moments. You laugh. And then uh, and Finn? Oh, Finn was, like, Finn Finn's was just perfect. funny, Finn was man. perfect. It's, I didn't know exactly where they went with that. I love the new uh, Stormtrooper explanation. I, mm-hmm. I love how, yeah, like, yeah. oh, they, they take they the children. That, which is they good. take the children as babies. They yep. program them. They teach them. So he's like, I came to this point where I went out on my first mission and I was not having it. Yeah. And that's why I love I love that character. I love where, you know, I, th- I think he's going to go into a good direction. And the movie just starts. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, let's start slow. No, yeah. it starts and it does not stop. Yeah, really. Like, and that, that's the thing. With all of them, they were all kind of slow to start. Absolutely. The only one that I think started really well was... Um, the, uh, the episode 3. Episode 3, right. Which Because it, it started with a space battle. Right. Like, uh, let, like, let's open up to literally a space battle. Right. Like, okay, well, I'm already in the movie then. Right. No, this definitely has everything you want. It has space battles. It has uh, land, ground battles. It just has everything. That, it has fucking space against ground. It has It has some... some Paul does some crazy-ass flying when it comes to the rescue at, yeah. that, uh, at that woman's... Uh, at that alien woman's uh, home. It's it's yeah. great. It's great. It's just everything is done very well. There is, I think, fantastic visuals. I think yeah. this movie, I think this movie did everything it could have possibly done to be the best movie of Star Wars ever. Yeah, absolutely. I think they absolutely. I think they came out and they did everything as good as possibly you can do. There was there was one Abrams flare. I thought it was funny. Yeah, um, like that's that's what I wanted. Was a joke. I was flare. like, where is like, man? I think J.J. Abrams used too many uh, lens flares in this one. Not really you at all. Say There's it. not. You no, even it's say a, it. it was it would have been a joke because there really wasn't any. I I didn't notice it, any. It was lens it was flare. so it was. It's actually in the trailer. Oh, I didn't okay. realize until I saw oh, okay. a cut from the trailer, and I was like, oh yeah. Because it's that scene where it's, it comes up, the camera comes up behind Kylo Ren, okay. where he's looking at the blast. But that's fine. And I was like, okay, yeah, but that's like. The most powerful beam of right, energy ever right. created. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I can see that being pretty bright. Absolutely. Um, some of the some of the 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 science uh, uh, upsets me mm-hmm. uh, just because I, I that's something that's always in my head. I look at you know as I'm watching any movie, I'm thinking of how does that make sense? Like in sure. in any science, like right. even in science fiction, like you're really stretching. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they 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 said that they literally. Sucked up a sun, sun the yeah. sun that they were next to. They just absorbed it. That's that's magic. That's like, here's not what's science. funny. But like, <laughs> here's what's funny though. But when you watch it, when the planet explodes, the sun the sun stays there. It becomes a sun. It just becomes a sun. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was cool. That I thought that was cool. I thought it was cool. I thought it was funny that. I was like, okay, show me this explosion. And I'm like, please don't do the stupid thing where the where the the, the Falcon's gonna like come out of it. Right, right, right. But it, they almost did. But almost, I was like, ah oh, man. No, they did. Listen, I I don't know how much I I don't have anything else to say. Like I said, people can people, people can been. argue all day long because of nostalgia why the others would be better. Mm-hmm. But this literally brings. It brings the nostalgia back. If you're a person that has deep nostalgia for the original movies, this brings that back. Yeah. You get everything that you would have gotten from those movies, Absolutely. but in the new era, but in a better fashion. Yeah. In a I way think, better fashion. I think this is a great beginning to a new era of Star Wars films. This I is, can't wait to see the oh, my my concerns are going to be when they do these prequel movies. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I don't recall. I mean, they kind of are prequel. They kind of are. Like the, they kind of are. Han and the Rogue One films right. are both taking place before A New Hope. Yes, but with the... The Han movie, I don't know if they said it's going to, like... The b- Han b- is b- definitely... Right a, a new right, Hope. The, the Han the is definitely... Rogue One is, like, it theoretically is going to end at the beginning of New right. Hope. Right. The, the, well, I mean, I guess comparing it to this movie, they are all going to be prequels to this movie. Uh, but, like, the Rogue One is more like, here's how they got these plans to figure out how to destroy the It was just like, this is this so that was kind of, of cool. Star like, Wars. Oh, you know, we got these plans, we sent somebody out and we got them. But here's the story of those Rebels, which is a different kind of prequel. It's not just a prequel. Yeah, like, yeah. Here's, I, that's here's why the story of the main it. characters. That's why no, call here's it. the story of these Rebels. That's why I like that they call yeah. them anthologies. Yeah. They're just stories within the universe, and I like that. I like that, that My only concern is... How they're gonna do that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And have it like fit into that yeah. old era and the, the way it looked and the way everything was. Um, obviously, because it's not gonna happen in the same places, they're gonna be able to show it a little different. But I, I'm really excited for the new trilogy, uh, and you know, possibly anything else that comes after that. I'm, I'm. This is 
I'm stoked. I this said was it. a great, great movie going experience. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely is a great movie going experience. It fits for this modern era of movies. It it is listen, if you had uh, if you were a huge original Star Wars fan, right, because you grew up with it and you wanted your kids to get into it, well, they'll get it. If they love movies, they'll get into it with this. Absolutely. This is going to be Absolutely. their Star Wars movie trilogy that gets them to be, you know, in the next 30 years telling their kids, you need to watch Star Wars. I mean, if trends, if trends continue the way they are, they'll have, they'll just, in 30 years... They'll have yeah. Kids will, be growing, kids will be growing up with like episode 11, 12, I'm saying, 13. If, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's just it's Disney likes making money and Star Wars makes money. So. Listen, they, uh, they're JJ Abrams and Disney at the current moment can have all my money. They they're projected to make more money off of Star Wars than they paid for Lucasfilm. So <laughs> it's it is currently Friday. Merchandising and all that stuff. It is currently Friday, December eighteenth. We saw it Thursday at late show mm -hmm. but i mean that's how great like normally if the sh movie is not good enough i'll actually start not enough if i'm tired enough this movie woke me up absolutely it woke absolutely. me up absolutely the so that that alone tells I you think how that, great i this think movie. that lightsaber fight was fantastic yeah. i think i think beginning to end i didn't have a moment of this movie where i was like what what else is going on right, right. no absolutely no i think it was i'm in there i think I, in the lightsaber fight i genuinely felt myself tensing up right. because I was so into the yeah, fight. Yeah. I've only felt that a few other times in films Absolutely. where you're you're so with that character. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but Transformers 3 for me, the last fight mm -hmm. between Optimus and uh, Sentinel-1 and, and Megatron, Megatron, that last fight, when he killed Megatron, I was in there. I was so, I, like, brutally yeah, you were like, uh, I was like, Yes! <laughs> <laughs> like that, just, it felt good because so the same thing with this lightsaber fight. I like when she fights, she does that spin, and yeah. she, I thought she killed him, and I was so excited that like I was kind of mad that he wasn't dead. Right. But it's funny because uh, Han told him take off that mask, you don't need it. Right. Well, now he's super scarred across the face. That's awesome. Now he needs it. Now he needs it. Yeah. So I'm glad they kind of went with that a little bit. But for me, once again, it is a perfect movie. I think Disney did it, and yep. they're gonna continue to do it. Yep. Um, they. Listen, I'm not saying Disney doesn't get around. There are Marvel films that I would say certain things were not good with them. Check but out they were still good review. movies. But that being said, they clearly know what they're doing with this franchise. Yeah. Uh, you Once again, one last time, you can argue, if you are a nostalgia person, why this wouldn't be the best movie. But I would, I would with facts, disagree with you. Because it's facts that people, most people... Most people, if you take a majority of the people, they would agree why a, this as a film, not just because it's Star Wars, but as a film, is a better film than the other Star Wars movies. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I go see it if you haven't seen it. Yeah. If you watch this and you haven't seen it, I'm sorry for everything we gave away. Uh, you must have you, skipped the opening. Yeah, you must have skipped the opening and the fact that the title says, spoilers in capital letters. Right. Um... That being said, if you have watched it, we hope that you enjoyed it just as much as we did. Drop, uh, drop your comments yeah, down leave below. Your what, comments. what was your favorite sequence? What was your yeah? What was your favorite scene? scene your sequence? Your your moment? Uh, I love BB-8. Uh, the fact that that robot had good comedy without being able to speak yeah was hilarious yeah was hilarious absolutely yeah. I love that he's a little more animated than than R2 and uh, uh, I love that R2 is in it yeah like, yeah yeah oh yeah just like an addition to the family that's yeah, what I love about it is it. it is and that's what's I think that's cool I can't wait to see all three of them in the next one together like throughout the movie Super exciting. that being said also as well I do want to mention one last thing that yeah. I didn't specifically point out all the new cast perfect yeah I, I'm happy that they're taking over Star Wars absolutely because that is essentially what's going to happen yeah and good for them because they did Absolutely. a perfect job in this movie. Absolutely. They did a better job than what the original cast did for the original one. Once again, when it comes down to specifically acting, but that's because that act has gotten better. Yeah. So that's all I got to say. I think that's we both agree that. Uh, would you agree that? I know you're agreeing that it it is a great movie and all that. But would you agree, knowing what you know, and I know you've seen the movie original movies before me, way before me. Yeah. Would you say that for sure this is the best one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, question, no question. No question about it. about it. No question about it. Yeah. I, I loved seeing the originals. I thought they were fun. Um, 
for whatever reason, I, I I can't pinpoint the reason at the time, but for whatever reason, I I gravitated more towards Star Trek. Sure. Um, having seen them and then seeing the, the the prequels, I could see what people are upset about. Right. I still didn't have that much of a nostalgia connection that sure the the prequels upset me to that degree. Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Um, I mean, like I, you there mentioned, were elements I had problems with, but yeah. there are definitely entertaining parts and good things. Absolutely. Um, but I think this, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Best movie. Yeah. Best Star Wars movie ever made. Good job, Disney. Good job, J.B.J. Abrams. Excellent. I hope he does the next one. I don't know if he's... No, they got that. a different director. But regardless, uh, if they can continue on this route, they'll have me continuously seeing Star Wars movies. So. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, that's it, guys. Make sure to take a look at our Facebook. We do still... Are we still running that 100 likes giveaway? Technically? Are from a year ago? From a year ago? Technically. Technically, that's Technically. still right. Take a look at our Facebook. We try to stay update, uh, updated. I uh, can't talk now. Updated on there. We try to always put up uh, pictures of sneak peeks like if, when we went last night to the show and stuff like that. Uh, also, as well, check out our giveaway that we're doing on this channel. It's been two months. There's a lot of things being given away. Make sure to get your friends to subscribe because once we get to 500 subscribers, which we're getting actually fairly close to we're now, we are going to give away from that video all the stuff that we mentioned. So take a look at it. Uh, it's It's got a lot of stuff that we're giving away. Tons of gaming stuff, and then we have more stuff to give away, so... We just want to do that one first. Remember to leave your comment below on what you thought of the movie and what was your favorite scene. Also, as well, make sure if you haven't and you watch this video, subscribe, please. That helps us out, of course. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you. Later.